Hey, how's it going everyone? So I'm back with another uh, video and this is mostly going to be a demonstration. I want to show you what I'm what I'm working on and as you can see last update I showed you the eye. I only had the eye but now I've started adding the bringing out the hair and what I'm basically doing now is I'm separating the layers and I do this the, uh, layer by layer step by step so Hair grows in layers, so you would have uh, this layer here overlaps a layer above, below, and then this layer overlaps the layer here, and so on. So what I'm doing here is I'm separating these, and I do this by darkening the the shadows. Here's a perfect example. So you have these hairs here. And then you have these hairs. These hairs are overlapping these hairs below. So by darkening this section here, I'm suggesting that these hairs are, are above these ones. So it's a tedious process because they need to go in and and recognize and find these these hairs. But this comes with with practice. So the more that's why I always say, the more you understand hair, the easier this step becomes. Because you recognize these patterns and you recognize these, uh, which hairs are below and which ones are above. And then once I've separated them, I go in and I usually do this uh, at the end. I go in with a kneaded eraser. Like this, and I make it into a fine edge and then I start tapping out individual hairs to further separate the, uh, the layers. Again, I'm so used to drawing hair that it's easier for me to separate and to recognize these hairs. But that's a whole uh, idea behind this, the step. So this hair is gonna be, it's lighter. So I don't want to make the hair too dark because then it's going to start looking more like uh, more darker hair. So that's why I'm doing this slowly, step by step. Because if I add too much graphite, it's going to stop looking like uh, like a lighter hair and it's going to start looking darker. And for this step, I'm using charcoal, uh, sorry, carbon and, and graphite. So the carbon, I just lightly go over the... The hair just to add a bit of uh, of graphite carbon on the on the paper and then with this this is a makeup uh, tool it's, the, the tip is spongy so then I use this to just spread out the to blend in the, the carbon if you don't know, carbon is a combination of graphite and charcoal. So the reason I like using carbon for this step is because it easily uh, blends. So I don't need to add too much pressure to spread it around. See, just by doing this, you can see the, you can begin to recognize the layers. Again, this comes with practice, so the more you understand hair, the easier it is for you to find these, these patterns. So you like here, for example here, if I darken this, see this single hair here? It's overlapping the hair below. So this layer could continue here. And so on, right? So the flow of hair, you also need to keep in mind the, the contours of the of the head. So the hair would just imagine lines going this way. And 
And then out of these lines, the layers of hairs grow up. So that's why it's important to keep this in mind because it 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 makes it easier to find these uh, these layers. And what I'm using this pencil right here, this is a 5H pencil. And it, it's light, it's harder, so it needs, uh, I, I don't add a lot of graphic to the, uh, to the paper. It's a light layer. So I'll continue doing this until I bring out until the, the layers are much more significant than I want it to and it looks like the way I want it to. Again, it's a tedious process but it's really important because this is what gives a, a drawing much more depth because this is what gives the illusion of what's in front and what's at the back. So these hairs at the back, I'm going to darken, especially the base because the base is what, ha is what has the shadows from the hair above. So these hairs here, I'm going to be casting a shadow on the base, on the hairs behind it. So I'll just continue doing this for all the, for all the hair. Again, this is just one section. I still got to do all this down here. Here you can see it, it's more more evident. See these tiny little hairs? These are above the hairs below here. So by darkening these hairs, these hairs stand out and they jump up more and they become more, more evident. Again, when it comes to drawing, adding realism to the hair, it all comes down to your understanding of how hair behaves. Because the more you know about it, the easier it becomes to add these details. You can only use, add so much of, uh, of what you know. So if you only know a certain amount of what, how hair behaves and how it looks and all, that's only that's the only that's as much as you can add. So the more you know, the more details you can add to your your drawings not only for hair but for everything skin uh, uh, textures wood textures whatever it may be the more you know about it the more detail you can add to your, to your drawings so yeah so hopefully this was helpful and I can go for hours but this is it would be like a long extremely long explanation because these these drawings take a long time it's just this section here just to finish this section off it's going to take me a couple of a couple of days on the same stuff just adding and layering and bringing out the shadows and highlights and so on in order to bring out the, the layers so yeah hopefully it was helpful if you have any questions just comment down below give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell to be notified for future videos. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking. What you're seeing here is not gonna, it's far, so far, far from what it's gonna look when it's finished. But hopefully next video you guys can see how much I, how much of a difference these, these steps that I just described make. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.